So I've done a video montage, I've done like a picture explanation vlog, but what I haven't done is a proper vlog of the tours I do in, in the south of the country. <sighs> it's kind of nice when people pay for your hotel. So the first thing in the morning is that we drive for four hours down to the coast of Croatia and four hours back. It is a long drive to pick up our guests, but the views are always amazing. And that, by the way, is King's Landing. Yeah. Well, we have arrived at our villa hotel accompanied by these um, fire extinguisher guys. I very much feel like jumping into the pool, but we're going to be spending most of the day inside the water anyway. So, you know what? I changed my mind. Gotta say, it's a fair bit more pleasant than the river. Our first exciting activity is hiking down into the canyon of the freezing cold river. It's usually between four and six degrees Celsius, which is very, very cold. Now, canyoning is a kind of sport where you kind of half crawl, half swim, half jump and abseil down the canyon from one point to the other. It really depends what time of the year it is. Sometimes the water level is higher and then you're just like boom, rushing down, holding on to things for dear life. And sometimes the level of the water is lower. So you're kind of like floating along and relaxing and having a good time. It really depends on what people like. And jumping from here is a... Uh more adrenaline -y than it looks. The weather was absolutely perfect. It was sunny, but not too hot. Obviously, when the river is cold, you can't really get that hot. But even if it would rain, it really doesn't bother you because you've got these fat wetsuits on to keep you from freezing in the four degree water. And this is my little lobster friend, which I met, took pictures of, and sent back down the river instead of having him for lunch, which is what some people suggested. Instead, we get this for lunch. Our canyoning adventure is then followed by a hike to a very beautiful mountain. It is a demanding hike. It's pretty dangerous and steep and scary in some places. We made it to right under the peak, but I have to get the rope out to make sure everyone makes it up safely. Whew. But the views at the top, once you get there, are absolutely worth it, which is why I love mountaineering in the first place. And if you're lucky, you might be able to see an amazing sunset. This one place we pass always has these adorable puppies, which does slow down our schedule by quite a bit, but I mean, puppies. The next day is followed by rafting. Again, the level of the water really determines what kind of rafting you're gonna get. But for those who like more extreme things and don't get a really high level of water for the fast stuff, you can always stop somewhere and jump around. Besides, when the water level is lower for rafting, unlike canyoning, the rapids are more exciting, more adrenaline packed, so it works in both ways. And I love that waterfall because just when you're down, going down the river and you're getting a little bit hot because obviously you don't spend so much time in the water like you do during canyoning, and then you come under the waterfall and it's just like, ah. As you can tell, I just had to jump out of the water and enjoy the coldness of it. I guess it's my northern blood, I don't know. And the finale for rafting is jumping into these amazing water rapids which kind of take you down and you have to be pretty careful because you can hit a knee or get scratched or be dragged underneath so if you're not friends with water do not do that little story of the day that is what i do on my summer weekends i really enjoy and love my job and just the fact that i can do so many different things at the same time and of course tell you about it if you're not one of those people who came with me. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. And man, I already missed the summer season. My tours are over for this year. And I just can't wait for next year.